Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are going to be continuing on with our jet train right here uh, that we ended up fixing uh, last video, I guess, or the, the first video we actually did on it. Um, so this is what we've got so far. It looks a lot like the sand crawler from uh, Star Wars. Uh, so we're going to try and paint it today, at least. Uh, we might add some buffer thingamabobbies on the front uh, and the back as well and allow it to actually pull something, which... Um, wasn't really something that I was expecting to do with it, but if we can, uh, then we might as well do it. So, let's go ahead and start painting it first, and then from there, we'll see what happens. Alright, so, first things first, on pretty much everything I do, we're going to go ahead and paint these, this colour, there we go. Uh, all of the windows are going to be painted that colour, all of the interiors of the windows are also going to be painted that colour, and uh, I feel like that's just a good idea, because it, it ends up making it look pretty nice. Uh, so we we'll go ahead and do that, we'll do this one, all of this, all of that, that piece as well, and all of this, there we go. Uh, then pretty much the whole interior of this bit needs doing, so we'll do that, and I think that's fine, there we go, nice. So, the windows have been done. Right, now I was picturing like some sort of orange colour um, as the side, so um, I want it to be like a, I don't know what kind of orange, but uh, maybe this? No, probably darker than that, probably a darker orange. Yeah, but maybe not that dark. Maybe like this colour. Yeah, this'll do, this'll do fine. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna paint this entire piece up here, this colour, yes. Uh, the bit that juts out, we're gonna do the front bit as well, and we're gonna do it Mostly on the top until a certain point, so we'll do something like this. Yeah. Alright, okay, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, we're gonna go across the bottom. Actually, no. Uh, and then grey. Yeah, we're gonna add it with a bunch of greys. And I feel like that is actually a good way of doing this. Okay, go ahead and paint that. Paint this piece. And we're actually gonna do lines straight down. Oh, I don't know. How do I make this look pretty and stuff? Okay, let's do something like this. Yes. Okay, this whole corner piece can be this color. Uh-huh. All right, cool. And then pretty much the rest of it is just going to be gray. Not going to lie, I feel like I feel like that's an all right idea. Yeah, gray there, gray there. Um all of this should be probably be gray. All of this? Yep. I actually know the entire top can be that color. That's fine. Um all of this? Yes, yes, yes. Uh the entire pack back piece can be gray, yes. All right, fantastic. Fan dabby dozy, dude. Fan dabby dozy indeedy. All right, there we go. Go ahead and do these and all of this. There we go. Nicely done indeed. All right, so it's all gray. Yes, it is. Um, uh, now that's not amazing. I don't want it to all be gray. Uh, but it's a good start. It is a good start. Okay, so go ahead and paint this the right color. If we can, yes. Okay, interesting. Now we're going to paint those pieces. Yeah. Um, this bit needs to be painted. Yep. Uh, and I'm thinking that we'll go all the way down here with it. Yeah. Okay, interesting. That whole piece. Actually, in fact, all of this as well. Yep. Okay. And then this. All right, cool. Yeah. I don't really have anything specific in mind. Um, I'm just thinking of what would look cool. And what we've got here to work with. Um, it's it's basically just a big box, isn't it, to be fair? Um, but we can make it work. We can make it work indeed. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. Um, we're going to do this piece. And all of this. And then we'll see what it looks like in person. Because it might look different. Oh, that looks okay. We'll have like a big banner here of, I don't know, a name of something. Uh, and I feel like that'll end up looking quite cool. We'll go ahead and paint this. Um, jug all the bottoms in. There we go. Jug all of that. Just so it's all the right color. Otherwise, we'll have a few issues. There we go. Nice. And, um, yeah, that's pretty good. I think what I might do as well is I might have a slightly darker gray. Just barrier off a bit of this. And we'll paint all of the inside of this color as well. There we go. Cool. Um, with these bits being like this, we're actually going to delete this piece. Put in a block. Yep. Uh, paint that piece, that piece, and the top piece as well. And we're going to put some buffers in, which are pistons, I think. Yeah, just 
Uh, ooh. This piston, is it big enough? Yeah, like that. That's cool. Nice. Uh, we want pretty much exactly the same thing on the other side, so we will. Uh, at this height. Yeah. -ha. Okay, so go in here. Is it only in one, or is it in two? Ooh, I don't know. It's in three. It's in the third one. Okay. So it's in here. All right, good. Uh, we're going to put this in. Uh, we're going to decorate the back a little bit differently to the front, just because we're going to have to. Um, and they might not be big enough. They're not big enough for the back. Okay, so we're going to have to add these, which are huge. Okay, we're going to have to put this bit inside then. Uh, so put that there, I guess. Yeah. Um, right here, right here. And right here. Okay, cool. I want to paint all of the inside of this the same color as the outside, so like this, and then we'll put the pistons in there. Yeah! Look at that! Beautiful! Okay, so now we can pull things. That's nice. That's very nice. Um, I think I'm going to put some little decorations around these, around the engines themselves, because that's a cool idea. We're going to fill in this middle piece. We're actually going to turn all of these the same color as well. Bam, 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 bam. Turn that the same color. Gonna paint all of these the same colors. Okay, good. And we're gonna just finish off the top. Nice. And the sides. There we go. Look at that. That looks weird. It looks very strange. But at the same time, it works. That totally works. Okay, paint that piece. Nice. And I think we're ready to go. So that's good. Um, the only other thing that I've changed without being on screen is I've actually done the PID settings. Um, hopefully the right way. So if I show you, uh, this is how we've got it. 0 0.01, 0 0.00001, and 0 0.1. Um, and that appears to work, so I guess we're going to go ahead and jump inside, and I'll show you how it works. Yeah! Alright, climb up to the top. Da -de -da -de -da. Um, that looks a bit strange. Oh, because it hasn't, it hasn't painted on this side. Okay, There's a few issues with that, but that's okay. Uh, so, over here we've got the speed indicator. Over here we've got the fuel indicator. And if we press 1... And do this, it should start moving. Yep, so they ignite. Perfect. And off we go. So it gets up to 275 meters per second. Oh no, it explodes again? It wasn't exploding before. I must have changed something. Uh oh. Okay, so I haven't actually changed the PID system again, but um, I'm not sure what broke with this. Um, it seemed to work earlier on, which is really weird. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, maybe if we add another one. I don't really understand why that would break. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to put this back to 1, and we'll see what happens there. Because this might either work, or it might break again. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure. I'm also really bad with liveries, uh, and the way this thing looks, but I guess it'll be fine. So, uh, we want to get up to 275 again, if we possibly can. Is it even going to turn on? It doesn't look like it's going to turn on. Maybe that extra zero was the final straw. I've taken the zero back out again. We're going to try again. Come on. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's please turn on. Okay, it's smart. it sounds like they've ignited again. And they haven't actually ignited. Why do we keep having this problem? Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's paint it a little bit more. Let's paint it a little bit more. We'll do something like this across the bottom. Yes, uh, all the way across here, and all the way across the back. Yeah, why not? There we go. Beautiful. That looks alright to me. That actually looks pretty cool to me. There we go. Good. Paint that bit in there. Nice. And that looks alright. We're going to paint that bit just to make sure it looks cool. Uh, we're going to paint... Oh, that's already done. We'll paint the rest up here. Good. And that looks alright. Underneath that, I want to change the colour of this. It'll be a little bit probably lighter. Just to make it slightly different. Otherwise, it'll look too too grey. And if it's too grey, it'll look strange. So, um, we'll actually paint all of that that colour. And I feel like that might help a little bit. in just making it look a little bit nicer. Um, again, we've still got the problem with it exploding. But that's fine. We are going to change the colour of the inside to be... Um, like a creamy colour. Yeah, that'll do. I want the floor to be a different colour, of course. But... Uh, a creamy color for everything, except the floor. The floor can be this color, and uh, the ladders can be gray. Why not? Why not be gray? There we go. Good. Uh, the ceiling um, could be this color, I guess. 
Um, but I don't want it to be the same color as everything else, so we won't. Uh, that's okay, good. And finally, let's go ahead and change the color of this to be slightly different, and voila! That's fine. Yeah, go ahead and paint that so it fits in a little bit. Uh, paint all of these so they also fit in a little bit. There we go, and that's cool. Yeah, nice. Um, I'm thinking I might as well color all of this in. Yeah, and that looks all right to me. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so just as a quick side note, let me go ahead and save this real quick. I do have a jet train already that a lot of you guys will have already seen, um, but I'm going to show you guys how fast that goes. Um, I don't know whether I showed you in the previous video, but you'll see here. Okay, so this is the Tren 2. The Tren 2. Uh, and it's got a lot of jet engines, uh, a lot of jet engine nozzles. It wasn't done very well, uh, and it does explode, so um, that's a thing. But if we show you what speed it gets up to, um, then, then you'll see why it's, why it's quite cool to have. 950. Look at how fast we are going. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, again, this needs a PID system. If we could just put a PID on this, uh, it would be very, very insanely quick. Wait, that thing got damaged straight away? The intake is damaged. On all of them. Oh, okay, yeah. Going around corners with this thing as well, uh, it seems to kill you, so, um... Yeah, that, that's that's an issue this one had. Um, with my new one being so small, hopefully going around corners won't kill us, but I um, haven't really tested it out too well yet. Oh, and there we go. Like, it's crashed into a wall. Amazing. So with this train, I was trying to avoid uh, all of the explosions and things, and uh, we've still got some explosions due to the, uh, the PID system being wrong or something. I'm not entirely sure how to fix this. Um, but hopefully we will fix it soon. Um, I'm also thinking we need more lines. We need more something. Uh, maybe one line straight across the back like this might might make it look a little bit nicer. I don't really know. Two lines? Oh, two lines. Now we're getting fancy. Maybe a little bit too fancy. Uh, but let's go ahead and spawn it in, see if that looks better. I think it does. Maybe a little bit. Uh, go up to the tippity top, get inside, see if deleting that zero helped anything. Um, and we'll get going again. So here we go. Speed indicator zero. Um, fuel indicator. That went down quite quickly last time. Um, the engines have... They seemingly turned on for a second there, but they didn't do anything. Um, let's take away another zero. Because th th they are turning on, but they're not turning over. Which is a bit strange. Just a little bit. Anyway, get inside. Here we go. Do 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 do. Climb in. Yes. Go ahead and close the door. Press 1, throttle it up, and... Oh, they're on. Okay, this time they turned on. We haven't started moving, and they've turned off. Why? Okay, I've changed one more thing. <laughs> I've changed one more thing. Uh, I actually ended up putting the throttle lever back to 180 max, and hopefully that does something. I don't know whether it changes it. Oh. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we're going the right speed. They exploded again. Hmm. Okay, so I messed with some settings. We are now going 270, which is pretty fast. Um, our thing is, our throttle lever is set to 111, which, you know, isn't the fastest in the world. Or the, the, the highest in the world. Uh, I don't know if we go any further, they'll just explode. I guess that's what we need to test out. We're going to go to 180. We're stuck at 275. And we are moving still. Everything seems to be completely fine. Our fuel usage isn't actually that much, to be fair. Uh, and we are staying at a constant speed. So, everything is actually, seemingly, working. Fantastic. Okay, so we should actually end up at the main island, which I can just about see in the clouds over there. I just want to make sure that we don't clip into anything as we go around these corners super quickly. Uh, we are actually fine. We are completely fine. Stuck at 275. I'm going to quickly Google how much that is in uh, miles an hour, and uh, hopefully it's quite quick. Okay, so that is currently 615 miles an hour. That is that is fast. Uh, if we change that to kilometers per hour, uh, that is actually 990 kilometers an hour. This is one quick locomotive. Look at it. It flies around these corners completely fine as well, because it's not actually that wide. Uh, and everything is actually seemingly working quite quite nicely. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so one thing that I haven't quite implemented yet is any sort of braking mechanism. We don't have one. 
Uh, so we're going to have to try and figure that out real quick. Um, and then it'll be a fully functional train. It won't go backwards. It doesn't have a reverse. Uh, we could make it go backwards, though, uh, using these very tiny motors uh, to make it force it go backwards. Make it go backwards? No, that actually doesn't work. That doesn't work. They would have to be connected to the wheels. Uh, but we could put motors in here to allow it to go backwards. We just won't do that just yet. Um, so, okay, right. This was just an experiment. So everything is actually working fine. Uh, what was I going to change? I can't actually remember. Uh-oh. Oh, we wanted to actually add some brakes. Okay, well, that's fine. Because if we go inside, we turn this off. We delete this and this. Uh, we grab another one of these and put it in. Here we go. Yes, indeedy. There we go. Good. Uh, we obviously need to paint it and stuff, so I'll quickly do that. There we go. And uh, we need to paint the top, and we need to paint the outside. All of that is now painted. Good. We're going to paint that one, too. Oh, and these. There we go. Good. Uh, this is going to be our braking mechanism. So they're variable, so you can turn them on at random limits, and it'll still work fine. So that's actually pretty cool. Let's see if they work, though. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit in the seat. We're going to press 1. We're going to go full throttle. We're also going to go full... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need um, we need power. Yeah, we do. There we go. Okay, is there anything else that needs power? Like, what are these? Those are the lights. Okay, we haven't, we haven't attached the lights yet, but we've got what we need. So that's good. Let's go up to here. Jump inside. Yes. Close it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so full throttle, full brake. And we'll see if we move. We do move, and our brakes are on full. So if we throttle down, how long does it take us to get to zero? Quite a long time, but we do actually have brakes, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's that's nice. But of course, if you turn the brakes off and you just do this, then you can go back up to 270 miles an hour. Oh, well, 660 miles an hour uh, insanely quickly. Yeah, not entirely sure what I want to put inside here, but we should put something in here. Uh, and we can, if we want to, climb out and fall off and die. Uh, but you know, oh, 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 <laughs> we actually ripperonied and pepperonied there. Um, but yeah, we've actually built a train that goes super quickly and is actually pretty reliable. That's awesome. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, I might put this on the workshop if you guys want to check it out. Um, but I do want to do a little bit more work on it. I want to make it look a little bit nicer because uh, at the minute it looks a bit strange. I think I might attach it so it can have cars on the back. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and we also need to do the lights and things. So we'll end up doing that in the future. But um, for now, I'm going to leave it here. We've got a fully working, uh, slightly painted train. I think that's cool. That's awesome. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.